Can you analyze the Indian government's approach to the semiconductor value chain? India is uh, a little bit behind the schedule of uh, the technological advancement in semiconductor. We faced uh, a chip shortage in a very bad way. Uh, all other countries face chip uh, shortage, but India faced the uh, most. And uh, all the sources uh, for chips like Europe or China or USA were closed during pandemic. Before that, uh, the shortage was already started. So that was the reason uh, government thought that we should uh, have a manufacturing facility uh, available in India that would uh, increase the uh, uh, potentiality of uh, uh, having better uh, electronics devices in future. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically they launched two uh, schemes called PLI and DLI. Both of them are really good scheme and uh, all the country has, uh, you know, uh, uh, told that this scheme is going to be uh, a game changing in semiconductor industry. So this is not only an incentive which the government is providing. Government is providing a really nice uh, support uh, for the uh, uh, companies who want to uh, start the fabrication process for chip and display. So they are giving all the support for that particular uh, ecology, starting from availability of land to electricity and uh, uh, you know uh, availability of access, everything. Please briefly analyze the Indian private sector's investment in semiconductor manufacturing. Uh, private sector was uh, having interest on starting semiconductor uh, business uh, since decades. Uh, lack of uh, a lot of uh, resources and of course, as you said, these are a very capital uh, expensive business. You cannot start it uh, uh, in a very short period of time. Now, uh, looking towards the growth of the economy, looking towards the uh, growth of private sector, looking towards the uh, investment capacities of uh, companies, uh, this thing uh, uh, has become a reality. Of course, uh, before that, uh, uh, the investment was one of the issues. Uh, we have uh, less uh, semiconductor uh, development. But a uh, scenario has completely changed after 2014. And mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, if you look at the uh, interest of uh, uh, big companies, most of the companies are interested in semiconductor, uh, particularly uh, all the companies who already have crossed $10 billion uh, in their uh, valuation, they are interested in uh, entering into semiconductor business. And for that, I think all neighboring countries have a lot of opportunities because I think uh, everyone will agree that 21st century belong to Asia. Time. This is our time. Uh, nobody can disagree on that. For example, uh, the lasers are supplied from China. The equipments are supplied from Korea. Uh, the refurbished equipments are also uh, you know, part of the uh, value chain as well. So all neighboring countries also have kind of a business uh, tie-ups with uh, bigger companies. And that, you know, uh, 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 make some uh, more uh, progress uh, in terms of uh, completing the projects. Thank you.